A given lake has a surface area of 1 million square feet. For the past month, about 4 inches of rain have been observed at this location. There is an inflow to the lake which occurs at a rate of 2 cubic feet per second and an outflow leading away from the lake which discharges at 1.9 cubic feet per second. Evaporation at the location has been measured to be about 5 inches per month. Infiltration of the lake bed has been estimated to be 1 inch per month. Assume that the sides of the lake are impervious. Is the change in volume of the lake during this month positive or negative, and by how much? Answer in cubic feet. So this problem starts out by giving you a lot of information. However, in this case, all of it is actually useful, and if you are able to recognize it, it's giving you components of the hydrologic budget. So that's something we can find in chapter six of the reference manual. And even if you aren't entirely sure if the words hydrologic budget don't come back to you, you could try to search something else like evaporation. And if you're lucky, it'll lead you to the same place. Evaporation is one of those words that'll do that. So let's write out the equation for surface water system hydrologic budget to get started. We have the equation of P plus Q in minus Q out plus Q sub G minus E sub S minus T sub S minus I equals delta S. As you can see in the reference manual, P stands for precipitation, Q in is the surface water flow into the system, Q out is the surface water flow out of the system, Q S is the groundwater flow into the stream or lake, ES is the surface evaporation, TS is transpiration, I is infiltration, and delta S is the change in the water storage of the surface water system. So this problem is asking us about the change in the volume, which is going to be delta S. And we're going to find that by plugging in all of the other parameters that we've been given for this problem. Some of them might need to be solved for a little bit. So let's get started. We're gonna start by solving for P. P in this case is precipitation, which is noted to be four inches over 1 million square feet. So we have 1 million, oops, feet squared times four inches times one foot over 12 inches. And that will give us 333,333 ,333 cubic feet. We're going to try to solve for everything in cubic feet over a period of a month, since that's the timetable that the question is asking for. Next, we're going to solve for Q in minus Q out. And we can solve this for both of these terms at once based on the way the problem gives us the inflow and the outflow in the same units. So what we can do is say Q in minus Q out equals two cubic feet per second minus 1.9 cubic feet per second times 60 seconds in a minute times 60 minutes in an hour times 24 hours in a day times an average of 30 days in a month. And solving for that, we should get 259,200 cubic feet per month. Next, we're looking for, there is no Q sub G in this problem, so we can cross it out, but we have evaporation here, and that's been measured at five inches a month. So we can say, well, evap equals five inches per month times 
one foot over 12 inches times 1 million square feet. And that will give us 416667 cubic feet. Next, we have no transpiration given in this problem, but we do have infiltration. And that's been estimated at one inch per month. So what we have here is the same as above, one inch per month times one foot over 12 inches times 1 million square feet in the lake. And this will give us 83, 3, 3, 3 cubic feet. So now we need to find the delta in the storage. Is the lake getting more water over the course of the month or is it losing water? So which of these variables would we want to add and which of these we want to subtract? So precipitation is going to be an inflow. So let's say plus three, 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 three. And these are all in the same units now. Um, Q in minus Q out became positive, so we can leave that as positive since there's more inflow than outflow. And that's going to be 259, 200. Evaporation is going to take water away, so 416667 is a minus. And then infiltration is going to also be a negative here since that's another source of water loss. So that's everything we had to solve for. And if we solve for all of these out, what we should get is 92,533 cubic feet in the positive. So the delta storage has been increasing in this problem. Our answer over here is the second, and that should be all it takes. As you can tell, this problem just takes a long time to grind through. It's just a number of calculations and knowing what the equation is for the hydrologic budget. But it's very straightforward other than that. So that's it.